What is up, guys? And of course, welcome to our team analysis against, of course, the Sublime Salamans. Oh, very scary, man. Very scary. Xenon, huh? It's a big guy. The big guy of the TBU. Yeah, he's gonna beat us all. Yeah, he's so good. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, man. I feel you. Yeah. Some cool stuff right there, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see you. If you can beat me, you think you can beat this? This? You cannot. I would love to see you try. But I am ready. And I stand ready. And I have copy. Okay, they had a healthy other thing possible to do. I am I have not drink coffee at all today. And it looks like the bed is in my way. Fuck it. And my horns is knocking out the pants of fuck it. Ah! Let's go over the team. Ah! His team is as follows. Mega the NG. Yeah, remember that from my season? It's my mom, man. It's my mom. It's my mom, man. Can't do that to me. Then I'll start out. Let's see. We got. I'm not cheating. I'm not looking at the TV right now. I'm obviously very professional here. We got Meanwhile, Tentacruel, Rotom, Metagirls, Tornadoes, T, Ninetales, Hiriyama, and a Dragon. She actually benched Superior for Rotom. I see you, man. I see you. Think you can deal with Volcanion? Do you think you can deal with it? You cannot. You cannot. I'd love to see you try. But you simply cannot. So my team is as follows. Volcanion, yeah, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna show him that his prep is not gonna work for me, man. It's not gonna work. We're using a hasty set this time. Haste, you say? What is that? It's your mom. Deal with it. Now, really. It is a physical set, and since we have a physical volcano, we need hasty because steam eruption is still steam eruption. Which means burn. Oh, you, you're gonna burn! You're gonna burn, Rotom! You're gonna burn! And so will you, Xenon. So will you. As I heard that, yeah, super power and earthquake because the only mods that can resist steam eruption is Tentacruel and Hydreigon. We wanna hit them super effectively. We have expert barrel to ensure a few KOs after stealth rocks. I have stealth rocks this time, how about that? I actually have self rushing my plan, that is the insane. Hazard what? <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Volcano is really, really straightforward. Uh, it has enough speed to outspeed uh, Mewal after one flame charge. Which is nice. Not that Mewal is a threat to us, but yeah, you know, that's a thing. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Gonna get more details about that. On a more calm video after this. Anyway, follow that up with the Assault Vest Guard War. What? The Assault Vest? Not Scarf? Do you use Scarf every time in LBA? Shut up! I have a plan this time! <laughs> and this... <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> My plan is... Since he has Regenerator on Tornadoes, we can soak that, we can actually recover by that. And uh, just overall, Assault Vest really deals well with Hydreigon, even if it's specs, it kinda can take a hit from a Flash Cannon. It could do 50%. Could. Sludge Pound does not really hurt us. Sludge Wood doesn't really hurt us from Tornadoes. The only... He has mods to spread us out, obviously. One being Hiriyama. Oh. Uh, but then again... Since I have max HP and not fully speedy because I can't... His speed is... Or his speed... When his mods are really fast. But they are, the ones that fritz me are not. So I don't need a speed investment, basically. Uh, we have Shadow Ball to make sure that we can hit Metagross, because that's probably the only mod that really can fend us off. Hiriyama has Bullet Punch, which is threatening, but it doesn't do more than 40% on us. So that's worth keeping in mind. As I that, it's a very straightforward set. I guess I have Icy Wind, if we decide to switch out to, to like the Tornadoes. We can outspeed it next turn. He's going to be Assault Vest, there's no reason for him using anything else other than Assault Vest right on his Tornadoes. So that's the plan, and anyway, <laughs> So with that said, next mod. I am obviously not reading from this paper. I am manly looking somewhere else. Next mod, Sarah Cross. I dropped it. Ooh. <laughs> and here across is as follows. It's an adamant set. We're enough speed to outspeed Meanwhile, because we don't really need to be faster. The mods that he will use as Scarfer will outspeed us and no matter what, because here we are, or Heracross is not really that fast. I do believe we have enough speed to outspeed a possible, and I say possible, um, yeah, I guess you actually watched Miwa, never mind, so that's enough speed for that, 
I said I have a close combat earthquake, knockoff, and uh, storage. Perfect coverage. We have guts to just soak those skulls from Tentacruel if he decides to use it, or had a Will-O-Wisp on Tent or his Rotom. Um, I was considering Moxie, but Guts is just that much better, and it's not like I need any attack race for killing with Advent Heracross, it's highly unlikely. So it's very straightforward and it will, it will be used well this game, I'm sure. Next one is Scissor. Whoa, really? Again? First time? Woo! Yes. First time. This time won't die. We have Akaberry this time again. Because of Nine Tails. I'm not sure I can take a hit on the sun. It's very unlikely if it's modest. I can't take this timid. I'm not looking for a situation where I stay in against Nine Tails. But outside of that, we have Sword Stance, uh, Ruse, and uh, Bullet Punch Knockoff. Good coverage. Uh, we need Scissor for Meewall and Metagross. They are the mods that can't really hurt Scissor. So that was the best option I had to give. Just overall, it works because they're freezing them out also. Knockoff on Metagross, yeah, that's gonna sting. If you use Metagross, it's gonna be assault tested. And I stand ready. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there are a lot of mods that are freezing him out. We are enough attack movement actually to hit KO his Tornadoes. So. Yeah, we can revenge it kind of easily, if you are forced to do just so, that is. Let's see, outside of that, we have not mentioned four months, I believe. Yes. Next set is as follows. Thunder's Team. What? Free third time in a week? Yeah, yeah, yes, it's as effective as Sister, right? It has agility, Josh a very modest, um, a lot of HP, and I do believe speed enough to outspeed a jolly... Max speed to Metagross if we decide to use that. Just in case, just be really safe there. It's it's kind of a stretch, but if I have to be against it, I kind of want to ensure I don't have to worry about it. Uh, it has Dark Pulse, Hidden Part Fighting, because I was thinking Focus Blast, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, I really don't want to risk it. I don't want to have Superpower either. I don't want to be more viable or sustainable for his uh, priority moves. I feel like that would be extremely dangerous for us. So Hidden Part Fighting is enough to kill me while. And it does at best 50% on Hydreigon. It's not optimal, it's definitely not optimal. But um, I have options for Hydreigon. It's not really a scare mod for my overarching team here anyway. So, eh, whatever. So, yeah. And the last one is as follows. You're gonna love this, because this is one I've been thinking long and hard. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be effective if I get the situation to pull this off. John Fan. First time. First time it's been years this season. He's a very, very nasty guy. He sure is. And um, his moveset is as follows. Knockoff for Rotom. Um, Baseball for Rotom. Earthquake for Rest. I was considering Stone Edge, but it, since it misses so much, I don't really want to risk it. And against possible Rotom, I kind of want to kill it. Uh, have Lumbery to soak any Will-O-Wisping or Skullburns from Tentacruel. Um, and, oh yeah, we have Stealth Rocks too. If I see a Meeple on the team, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. I need those up. I don't have a speed block like Frostless, but you know, it is what it is, right? So yeah, that's pretty much the team. I have enough speed also. I have enough speed to have speed Meeple after one Rock Polish. I have a lot of speed investment. I do believe 208, so a lot of bulk has been wasted in compromise for the power. And the power is what we're going for. So yeah, that's the team. And now for... I call her voice, which is not mine. Uh, yeah, this is probably like the complete team I was going for. Uh, I should say this, like, I, it was kind of hard building for Xenon, not because uh, he's a very, very tough opponent, which is obviously is, but that was not the point. The thing was that I had a lot of mods that were definitely going to work. I think all of my nine mods I have available are functional mods against him. Being Sceptile would probably be the least value one, obviously because he used Meanwhile, or Meanwhile is a mod that I definitely are fear is going to be a part of this game. Outside of that, a physical Meanwhile with Sword Stance, Crunch, Rockstar Earthquake pretty much runs for his team. Uh, had it not been Meanwhile, I probably would have run that. Uh, but like I said, that's a thing that's pushing me back, and I'm. Ah, it's frustrating and it's kind of hard to, uh, to build properly with that in mind, and I feel that like that's going to be. A uh, big frustration as I go on, really. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Frostlass is definitely fit to build for this game, being, of course, a possible spiker. But I feel with the aggression I was kind of building for, that Frostlass eventually became more and more uh, gimmicky to work properly because there are matchups which you won't win against. 
um, and uh, such of course meanwhile again uh, which actually outspeed us and it would just be while it is functional it's troublesome to pull off so eventually I gave that idea up um, so and uh, yeah after that Draven was also a scarf Draven was what I was going for because scarf knockoff just eh, works would have been a great response for his Rotom, which obviously would definitely come in with, of course, the benching his superior. But eventually, Volcano won, like everybody else here. Gardevoir Funders, Dolphin Sister here across. They were given for this game. There were between Volcanion and Drapion, and I do believe Volcanion will be overall the better mod, mostly because it's natural bulk, because I'm not bringing necessarily any bulk outside of Gardevoir. Um, which meant that I know that it's going to work well, and it's a mod that I know that once I pull up a flame charge, is very likely to break a few things. It doesn't necessarily going to sweep this game, but it will punch holes where they are needed. Knowing Xenon, he'll definitely be a more defensive player, so I really feel both Metagross and the likes of um, Hydreigon could be very possible defensive if it doesn't go for a Scarf set, but I'm not taking any chances with that in mind. Uh, so therefore, a better option just... Well, going for Volcanion and punch holes. Uh, the team I'm seeing him bringing is definitely me, while it's going to be part of Tornadus, because why not, right? Uh, then we have Tentacruel, because Tentacruel and a Dragon, both of them are actually rolling Volcanion, and kind of feel they are given. Then we have Rotom. Rotom is uh, a mod I feel is going to be well used against us. And then it's between Hiroyama and Ninetales. Hiroyama and Ninetales are both good mods for my team, not because it necessarily hurts all that hard. But uh, there are mods that uh, can soak the steam eruptions, which will be incoming with, of course, draw from Ninetales and um, just fake fat on Hiriyama. So, which one of those will come, I'm, I'm unsure, but they will be coming. I'm pretty sure I'm predicting this team rather rather nicely here. I won't see Dayenshi. While Dayenshi is a very, very good mod, uh, he won't use that due to a Scissor. I mean, it would be a complete risk. Hell, when I faced a Scissor in Season 2, I never brought. Uh, the energy would just simply be too risky. That's the same reason you don't use Sceptile in this game because that four times priority is just gonna leave a shit stain on my Mega. Uh, so not taking that risk. But yeah, I think this is the best team for it. Uh, it's not gonna be a long battle. I know it's not gonna be long because if I don't break him early, I'm gonna be walled out myself and lose due to lack of proper defenses. So I I'll definitely say that this game is gonna be under. 20 turns, at least under 30 for sure. Um, the mods I see falling this match are definitely Volcanion, and uh, I know that Volcanion here across will fall this match for sure. Uh, if Donphan doesn't work properly with Rock Polish, then it's gonna fall too. Uh, but outside of that, I do believe that if I win this game, both Gardevoir, Scissor, and Thunders is gonna be well intact. Um, because they are probably the mods that can uh, not only soak what is this gonna they are facing, but also retaliate really hard. And I think overall that that's gonna work in my favor. So yeah, with all that said, I really really hope we can pull this off. See, you know, like I said, there is a very very good battler, and there are only so many plays I can do with this team uh, where I you know I just won't flat out die. So um, yeah, you guys will of course see this game tomorrow, which will be Friday. And for Xenon, you know, good luck, have fun. Ah, shit. Let's do this. <laughs> shit.